Jesse, Trisha, Nana, I first want to say thank you for agreeing to meet me here for family therapy. Even though you were only in rehab for a few days, it is is the benefit of, of treatment. Yes, you know, I'm sorry for the things that I didn't do right. I'm going to lead much better than I ever have. Nana, you have a resentment. I hold them accountable for Jessica's weight. I hated you when you drink. <laughs> so mean. And I loved you with everything I had. And I felt like you didn't like me. I am heartbroken. I am sad that I did this to my daughter because I love her with all my heart. Please welcome psychotherapist Dr. Mike Dow and our good friend Rosie Mercado. And join us via Skype. Trisha B and Jesse are also with us. And first of all, did that session with Dr. Dow really help you all move forward as a family? It did for me. It made my heart feel lighter. I'm glad that I'm able to finally feel like I can have my mom back. It feels great, and I'm excited to move forward. I think something that was beautiful that I had seen for the first time is that you actually genuinely, with love, hugged your daughter so hard. And you did not do that the first time that you guys met, so I thought that was just beautiful, validating, and just yeah. a real emotion of connection and love. And I congratulate you on that because that was being vulnerable. Yeah, sure. And Nana, what's so interesting to me, when I came to your daughter's house, you lived down the street and you'd never set foot into your daughter's house. That's how bad the relationship had gotten. And after seeing that moment of, of both of you opening up, I want to give both of you so much credit for doing the work for yourselves, for the sake of your daughter. And you know, Dr. Travis, I have to say, this, is, this made me so happy because this is a family that would have fallen through the cracks. Like so many families, you treat the addict, you treat the person who has problems, and then you send them back to the family and the family's not willing or hasn't gotten any help. And what happens, they relapse, they go back. In fact, Nana, your granddaughter said that she didn't want to burden the family and talk about her problems because she knew, even if you don't talk about it, she knew there were so many problems in the family, she didn't want to burden you. So she took all those feelings, she medicated those feelings. And thanks to this show, and thanks to your work, I think you saved your daughter's life. So thank you for that, thank you for that. <laughs> Communication, connection are such important values of a family, and you guys are coming together and doing that. Jessica called me a couple times from rehab, and it was wonderful to hear that she actually said, I feel like I'm a part of something. I feel like I can actually talk and communicate now. And for her to come from that, to come to a home where she could communicate and feel a part of a family, that is gonna help her get to the next level, get healthy and feel connected to her family. So you guys, I'm so happy to see all the work that you've done, the connection, the love, and more than anything, what you guys are setting up success for your daughter. And this is not only about your health, this is about Jessica's health. And that's something that I'm so thankful for.